So now we have successfully registered our domain and we can move on to the next step, which is installing WordPress. So to do that, we're gonna click on hosting in the top menu and then you should see our hosting plan right here. Here we wanna click on setup and then here we can save some time and just skip all these questions. So let's click on skip at the bottom and here we can choose how we want to build our website. So we can use WordPress with AI or we can use the Hostinger website builder, which is their own product of Hostinger. And I've already created a video on how to use this website builder. So if you're interested in this one, I'll leave a link to this video down below in the description. But as this video is all about using WordPress, we're gonna stick to WordPress with AI and click on select WordPress at the bottom right. And now we have to create our WordPress account. This is gonna be the account that you'll use to log into the backend of your WordPress website. So you can just use the same email that you've used for your Hostinger account, choose a password and click on next. And now Hostinger already wants to install a theme to our new WordPress website. But for now, we just wanna install WordPress and we're gonna take care of installing a theme later on once we have installed WordPress. So for now, we're gonna skip this by clicking on skip here at the bottom. And then the same thing here with the plugins, we don't wanna have anything pre-installed. So we're gonna choose no, I want to select plugins manually and click on next. And here, let's just deselect all of these plugins that Hostinger wants to install to our WordPress website and click on skip. And here the same thing, we don't want any pre-generated content, so let's click on skip. And here we can select the domain that we want to use for our WordPress website, which again is just a website name. And here we can see this is the domain that we have registered before, so let's click on it and click on next. And here we can choose the server location of where our website files will be stored. Now, in general, it's best to keep the server as close to your website visitors as possible because this will reduce the loading speed of your website. So personally, I live in Switzerland, so the best place for me would probably be France. But I've chosen the business hosting plan, which has multiple servers anyway for my website. So it probably doesn't make that big of a difference. But if you've chosen the premium plan, then I recommend to just choose the server location where you live or the closest to where you live or where your website visitors will be. So if your website visitors are mostly in Europe, then choose a server location in Europe. If it's in the United States, then choose one in the United States. So I'm gonna choose France and click on next. And now WordPress is being installed. So now WordPress has been installed and we are back in the hosting or dashboard for our new website. And before we move on and go to the actual WordPress dashboard for our website, I wanna quickly check if the SSL certificate is installed on our website. So let's go to the left side menu and click on security and then let's go to SSL. And here we can see that the SSL certificate is installed on our website. This is basically the lock icon next to your website URL, making all the connections secure. So it's very important that this is installed on our website. So let's head back over to the dashboard here and then to actually go to WordPress, let's click on admin panel at the top right. And this takes us into the WordPress dashboard for our website. Now, this is the backend of your website. So you're gonna come here a lot while building your website. And also in the future, whenever you wanna change something, you're gonna come here into the WordPress dashboard. 